Hey guys, good morning. It's Raven, how are you? How am I looking today? Driving to work, driving to my new job, by the way, um, because my last job, the owner was an absolute bitch, and you know what? Nobody, nobody deserves to work in an, a hostile environment. So anyway, back to the uh, topic today. I'm here for the YouTube Pagan Challenge 2018, and today I'm going to do letter G for goals and how I go about my goals um, and so forth and so on just to give you guys some ideas maybe for yourself. So what I do every year is um, kind of like the new year, you know, everybody likes to make these resolutions, New Year's resolutions, and you know, two weeks into it, everybody stops doing their New Year's resolutions because we've um, made them too difficult, a lot of us, you know, too, too hard to attain, um, instead of breaking it down into smaller um, bite-sized attainable goals, which is what I'm here to talk to you guys about. So whether it's a witchy goal for the year, or you want to lose 30 pounds, or you want to move, or whatever it is you want to do, what I do is I kind of mix my goals with the Sabbaths every year. So our first Sabbath of the year is February 1st or 2nd, um, which is in bulk. And in bulk is a time for me to sit down with myself and think long and hard about what I want to attain for the year. I set some good, realistic goals that hopefully I can attain in a year, and if it takes longer at least to start the process. Um, ideas of what I've done in the past is I wanted to move to Las Vegas, and um, I'm now here with my husband. Um, eating healthier, um, making more time for my witchy stuff, for my spells, for my meditations, for you name it, you know, I put it in my goals. So anyway, in bulk, I, I sit down with myself and I write down things, what I want to attain for the year, and how am I going to do that? Ostara. Ostara is a fabulous time to really get started with it. Ostara is kind of like the Easter, spring, fertility, new things growing. So it's a perfect time to actually start your goals. Um, so what I do is I have an Ostara tree, Easter tree, whatever you want to call it. It's got plastic eggs that hang on the tree and I can open them and I write down my goals for the year, whether it's one to six goals. Usually I'll write down six things that I kind of want to happen for the year, kind of like putting that out, putting that energy out into the universe. So it's either, usually it's about, one's about my job, one's about health, one's about my relationships, one's about my children, my personal goals, whatever. So I kind of write it all down, um, put that intention out there for the year of what I want, and then those specific goals of what I really want to obtain, say a new job or losing weight, or doing more witchy things in your life, doing, you know, trying to promote a daily um, thing in your life, um, start to write that stuff down and how you're going to obtain it and start doing it. So if it is, for instance, weight, super simple. So you're going on a crash course diet that you know you're going to fuck up on. You break it down into weekly goals. Um, and that can be, you know, the first week, make sure you're drinking four bottles of water. Make sure instead of eating a gallon of ice cream a night, you only eat half a gallon. Um, you know, a month later, you eat a quarter of the gallon. And, you know, you, you break it down slowly. Water, you drink four bottles. Or if you don't drink water, you start with, you know, I need to drink a bottle a day. Then in two weeks, when you're comfortable with it, or a month later, you drink two bottles a day. So forth and so on. Get it? Um, if you don't work out uh, this week, I'm going to start walking my dogs every, three times a week make it obtainable, I'm telling you, because once you do something for 30 days, it becomes a habit, and then you can move on from there, and 
and you know make it harder so it's obtainable um, so let's see Beltane comes you should really be in the full swing of things and so every Sabbath what I do is I look back on what I've been doing and how I'm progressing am I progressing and if not why am I not progressing and what do I need to do um, to get it into better motion because once the summertime hits um, you know you want to be in the in the gist of it you know your summer solstice and all that you, you want to have this thing moving and grooving whatever you're doing um, when it was moving to Vegas it was you know breaking it down to obviously us both getting jobs and then you know housing looking into housing and blah 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 and then making taking trips out here and meeting a real estate agent and getting that resume out and you know the shit's not gonna fall in your lap guys if that's in your head you know get your head out of your ass seriously you need to work at your goals I don't care if you do a thousand spells for you still need to work towards that goal it's not, goddess is not gonna drop that shit in your lap you gotta work for it to show her or the god that you know you really want it so um, so by summer it should be in full swing then by the three harvest festivals in a quarter mile use the left two lanes to take the I-15 south ramp to Los Angeles sorry my um, my maps are on I'm trying to get to my new job anyway um, you know by the harvest festivals it should have you should be there in full swing and um, for me, Samhain, Halloween is, is like a, kind of like a celebration and it's our new year, um, but an, on how you did and, or it should be like at the, at its peak. Yule for me is a time of, of looking back over the year, how I did my goals, how I could have improved, what I can change if I didn't obtain the goal, how am I going to do that the following year to make it better? Um, but it's just a time to kind of look back on, on the year in your life and um, what you accomplished too and, and celebrating your accomplishments as well. Don't beat yourself up if you didn't get everything you wanted for the year because you now have another year or two to make it better and uh, work on it harder. So um, that's how I do my goals every year. I've been doing it for probably five years that way and I'll tell you what, it's it works like a charm. I always look forward to it at the beginning of the year my new thing I always make a grid for the new year and I pick a a crystal of the year for myself type of thing which is super cool um, use the left two lanes to take the I-15 south ramp yeah taking the south ramp on the I-15 now so anyway I'm gonna get going I'm getting on my continue on I-15 south for two miles matter. so you all have a fabulous day if you have any questions please feel free to comment below and if you like the video please hit the like button so I don't feel that I'm in two miles, here. take exit 38B toward Flamingo Road I'm East. Not many people are watching my videos yet, but I know I'll get there eventually. It's a process, guys. It's always a process. So you all have a fabulous, blessed day. I hope the sun is shining on your face. I hope you spread your love and joy to everyone today. You put that positive energy out there. Do not let anyone get you down. Um, I saw a great thing on Facebook today that said, you know, if you if you get mad, it's because you need to raise your vibration. Don't settle for a low vibration. If you have a higher vibration than the nasty people, it can affect you. So raise your vibration, guys. And as always, have a blessed, blessed day. Talk to you soon.